Yeah. Yeah, the lighting's actually really great right now. Okay, I guys. I know, the lighting's so good. Look at my face. <laughs> okay, where are we, Jara? We're in Whitefish, and we're about to go ski. Oh, I'm gonna go snowboard, guess what? And we are here in Whitefish Resort, it's and cold. it's very cold. It's gonna snow today, so yeah. I'm really excited. I've been, ma I've been manifesting that I'm gonna have fun, so yeah. Good job. Important question. So apparently, we're going to the fifth dimension, but I have a question. Which dimension are we in right now? It feels colder today. It's very cold. Look how steep it is. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go down that black diamond. It's gonna be awesome. I can't zoom in because my I have gloves on because yeah, it's cold. Yeah. You stoked? I'm so stoked. My skis popped off. So I had to go repair them, so it looks such a drag, but now I'm going it on the It took like five minutes. <laughs> Alright, so we are skiing and snowboarding at Whitefish. This is our first time to Whitefish. We really didn't know what to expect. Um, so I'm gonna give you some like just some tips that I would have wanted to know before coming to Whitefish. First of all, Whitefish is gorgeous. Like there's it is so white. I mean, if you've ever been to Glacier National Park and you can put in perspective how many trees there are and they just go on and on forever. So landscape alone is one of the things that I actually love the most about skiing here and you know when you're at the top of the mountain you get to look out over Whitefish Lake but you can really see like all the way over to the mountains in Canada. Uh, so view just for that part it's really cool. On the mountain I I consider this resort like the best intermediate one we've gone to because for beginners there are it's a huge resort it's a huge mountain so things are a little bit more spread out than some of our last uh, blogs have covered. Uh, you're gonna have it, there's really easy terrain. Uh, Victor and Tati hung out on that yesterday. Uh, there's it's also early. chair two. There is chair two too. So there is another, there's a step from beginner to intermediate. There is something for everyone. However, what I really noticed is if you are an intermediate skier, which I'm, or a snowboarder, I'm very much beginner to intermediate. The kids are legit intermediate. There is so much diversity if you uh, go to the backside. Well, all over the resort, but on the backside, on the north face, there are so many blue runs that it really makes it entertaining to get to like jump from one to the other. Now, if you're a total newbie, you would not want to come to the top of the mountain yet. Maybe later in the season, it's early in the season. So once you get to the top, to get back down to the parking lot, there's only one blue run uh, uh, open right now. And so you need to be able to, you can always ride the chair back down, but I just, Really, if you're a beginner, teaching your kids how there's a total learning area at the base by the base lodge, or you want to go over to chair two and there's some easier runs there. If you are an intermediate and advanced, you will have so much fun if you ride the chairlift all the way to the top. It's a really uh, nice vibe here too. I just feel like overall, people are really chill. Um, yes, you do need to, you know, have your mask when you get in line, but if you don't feel like there's like bass Nazis, like get your mask up, get your mask up. So it's cool. Um, I like, I feel like there's just enough area to spread out and we're on, today's the Friday before uh, Christmas week. So it is starting to get a little more crowded, but it doesn't feel crowded. You know, maybe we have a five to 10 minute wait sometimes uh, to get back on the lift on the backside. But other than that, 
you know, it, once you're on the slopes, the, the runs don't feel crowded. You have so much. I personally love caribou. It's technically a green. It is a green, but it's, um, it's flowy. It's super open. I just went through it and there wasn't a single other person, which if you know me, I totally love being by myself in, in nature. So uh, anything yeah. to add? And one last thing about whitefish. I think that because it's so far north and you get so much precipitation here, and maybe it's just the year, but I think whitefish, you have really good odds of getting powder days here, don't you oh, think? Oh yeah, I think it snows here all the time. In yeah. fact, though, that was something uh, to keep in mind. We've skied in a lot of, you know, we did Colorado a lot and Utah, and we were used to skiing in sun. I wasn't prepared that, oh wow, like, the sun does not poke out much here, but it le it lends itself to really good conditions. Seriously, the snow has been it's so like good. 42 inches. And like next, yeah, it's 42 inches. 42. He's is 42. Dyslexic? 42. <laughs> Chair 11 at Whitefish. Just like the best oh. one. So I mean, I still like um, some of Yeah. And we were just deciding though, I don't know, is anyone else feel like this? I feel like I, every, I could do the same run 300 times, which we're doing right now. We've been doing it like 300 times, and every single time, I'm like, that was a good run. <laughs> we're literally like, dude, that run, and we've been literally laughing the exact same run. And sometimes we get down, oh, dude, that, was that the run was so sick. So I know. So sick. We're literally in that voice. Oh, good run. Good run. Ah. Boy, so we just finished an amazing day of skiing, an amazing, amazing day of powder amazing. at Whitefish and we went over to chair 11 later today and me and Jariah and Isabel were like in love with, it's with the chair best 11. One. It's it's definitely the best one. So now we're, we're going walking. to the hot tub. It's so cold, but it's gonna feel so good. But it's so cold. It's You know what, I think staying down here at Whitefish Lodge is the best because then you get to come down and you're you know, off the mountain and it's like right by the lake and the jacuzzi overlooks the water there. And, and it's, you can it's easily so go into town. Yeah, it's like lively and or yeah. you can walk down. You can totally go into town, although Whitefish Lodge, like tonight there's live music, there's s'mores. There's something else that I can't remember. I think they have movie night every it's night. Ice Barn Force. Ice Barn Force? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. It's so exciting. And, and then, like, if you really want to live it up after you just warm up with the drinks by the lodge, you can go into town and the bars are all open. Up and put high fructose corn syrup and all this, but you know, every so often you'll know, splurge. If you want to know what it'd be like to drink a thin mint, this is what it tastes like. We're staying at the Whitefish Lodge, and at night they have free drinks in the lobby. And tonight it's thin mint drinks. I don't know what it is, but it tastes delicious. They came down to the lobby to get some drinks, and they were giving out what feels like a mint and chip cookie with schnapps in it. Amazing. And instead of sitting in by the bar, we're outside by ourselves by these little personal fires right here. 
you can go inside, order your drink, and then come out and hang out right here by the lake. I don't know about you, but you can hang by the bar. This is me all day. What an amazing two days and two nights we had in Whitefish. And if you've never been to Whitefish, you are missing out on one of the cutest towns in all of America. Uh, I really, really am so happy that we stayed at Whitefish Lodge because being off the mountain at night and being able to go out to eat. Oh, at Whitefish Lodge, there's this great bar we went to. And if you're worried about safety, like they follow all the safety protocols, but most things are pretty open. So I get to connect with people from California and some locals and, it was really fun. I mean, it was really nice to have fun again. And the skiing at Whitefish Mountain is really nice because you have so much diversity. I mean, not even all the runs were open. In fact, I think only like 30% of the runs were open for us, but it was still really nice to have like the bunny slopes, the beginner hill, the whole backside just blew me away. I highly recommend if you're, like I said, if you're an intermediate skier, you're gonna just be amazed that you have so much diversity and tons of backcountry skiing. So. It's, it's a really, it's a mountain you're gonna need more than a day at. I highly recommend at least two, if not, I really wish we, were, we had skied three days here. Uh, Whitefish Lodge is just so, like, they take care of everything. Like, there's free cookies in the lobby, uh, free drinks in the lobby. There's a couple different places where you can sit by a bonfire and have some food or drinks. Uh, the views from the lodge, from, I mean, from our actual room, look at this, that amazing view is incredible. But to have the view while you're sitting in the jacuzzi, while you're at the bar, it's really nice. There's a coffee shop. So it was, I felt very pampered, but I gotta tell you, honestly, I love this room. We were in 211. If you can get Conduit 211, it's incredible. Check out how like, first we don't sit and watch TV very often. And it was so nice one night to like all sit as a family and get to watch a movie. And there's this, I mean, it just fit our big family. That's a, that's an important part. Well, not for sleeping, I take that back. We had two rooms for sleeping, but for us to like make our meals and stuff, we had a huge kitchen again. You know, I'm kind of a fanatic about my kitchen. And then check out these, check out this room. So we have this, we're gonna have this huge room with this rad shower and bathroom. I mean, gotta, it's kind of dark. Here's a light. <laughs> you can't have a light without, no, look at, look at this huge, it's a shower with like, look at this, these jets. Like, <laughs> you get like a massage while you're taking a shower. Mm -hmm. Just saying, that's pretty bad. So overall, I really, I mean, how could you not go wrong with a stay in Whitefish? Uh, if you come to Whitefish, just so you know, like the crepe place in town, it's like one of our favorites. We got Mexican food, had really good tacos at Jalisco Cantina. That was really cool. In fact, at Jalisco Cantina, you can rent your own private room. We had our private room upstairs and it was really cool. Uh, you know, make sure if you have any questions about your stay, check out the blog, leave a description in the, leave a, leave a comment in the description below. Subscribe to our channel because we're going to keep showing you all the best ski resorts this winter to ski at. And I mean, Whitefish gets definitely five stars, two thumbs up, all the all those things. You know what the other cool thing is? It is so easy to fly into Kalispell. It's Glacier International Airport. It is so easy. It's like you land there, the shuttle from the lodge picks you up. In fact, the lodge shuttle will take you anywhere you want to go. It takes you up the mountain, brings you back down, takes you into town. Uh, when we were finished eating, I just called the concierge and said, hey, we're done eating, can you pick us up? They were there in five minutes, ready to pick us up. So I really am just in awe of how the lodge itself, the lodge at Whitefish goes above and beyond any expectations to just provide you an amazing experience. The rooms are so comfortable, the beds are so comfortable. You have so many, um, so much space and everything you need from your room and Whitefish Resort to ski and snowboard at is like one of my favorites. So if you've never been to Montana and you want to feel like what that Montana vibe and get around, be surrounded by like cool people, like salt of the earth, happy people, I highly recommend going to Whitefish Resort, flying to Glacier uh, International Airport, stay at Whitefish Lodge. It's going to be mind blowing. <laughs>
vlog this for a second. Guys, awesome. my face shining. Welcome to Life with the Robledos. So, once again, our car has broken down. Yeah, this and it gets is a common occurrence. Guess who broke it and down? And it's almost predictable at this point that our car is gonna break down when we need it. And guess so what? So we're in Whitefish. We've just finished up two days of skiing. Our car broke down yesterday, but yeah, our okay. uncle was with us. So and he just left for on an airplane back home, and we have his car to bring back to his house. So we have his truck, which, in Isabel's opinion, is the most unfunctional car to ever be designed. It's like you took a, je a jeep and a truck, and you made it even smaller by combining. I see the so point seven of that, people and ten pairs of snowboards and skis are trying to fit in a jeep truck to drive an hour and a half. And I have to it sit on her lap. Extremely squished. I've never been more happier while driving. Try is happy about it. Our, there is no gap between so, our hips. Yeah, this is a three, three person row and we're gonna fit five people. Five. And I have to sit right here. I have to sit on my they, lap. It's good thing and cars I should even just show you the back. We made it home. I thought for sure I was gonna lose a ski or a snowboard on the way back, but we made it. And it is freezing cold here, which is why I wanted to tell you about my new Arctic jacket. I love this thing. I am freezing cold all the time. And I'm just amazed at how comfortable and warm this has been. We, I used it for uh, my first time on this last ski trip at Whitefish. And isn't it cute? I think it's a really cute jacket. I've never had a jacket quite this cute for skiing. Usually I have that big old ugly one. And so these are super functional and fashionable. I wore it out to dinner when we went into town too. It has like tons of pockets, credit card pocket, all these, and the pockets are nice and warm. There's like fleece inside. So I highly recommend check it out. It's in the description below. And Isabel got the bib, the full overall bib, and she loved hers. It's so cute. I'll have to show you on another video. Mm -hmm.